it's got. It's just. Oh, look, at the, look at the beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I, I, don't, I forgot what that Bird harmonica was. Bird of Paradise. Yeah, Paradise Vogel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice harmonica. It's beautiful. Shape. Yeah, beautiful box. Lucky Strike. You know, Melody, mm -hmm. Chance. Yeah. Most of these harmonicas in these boxes are really just run of the mill harmonicas. I mean, there's nothing special about them. The boxes, in many cases, are mm -hmm. more interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Home run, you know, mm -hmm. very. They tried everything they could to, uh, well, to catch the attention. Same of instrument, but a new look and to to get eye appeal. Yeah, these are all large tremolos. Mm. Parts with bells. I've got a lot of those. This one here, I put the bells on there. I got some bells from Honer. They had a whole bunch of them. And so. Back and forth with it. Enough. What is it? Oh, it looks nice. like you're doing a clapper on it. Oh my yeah. gosh. That is really neat. Yeah. Why doesn't our club well, you know, have one of these? I'm surprised you don't play? see more of these in antique stores, yeah. or maybe I mean I and I have started looking. I have about six. But I think I think we could go through this forever, and and what you'll yeah. see is a lot of boxes with some. Well, these are interesting in the fact that there's a whole bunch <laughs> of them in the form of boomerangs, you know. Yeah. Oh, boomerang. Are they Australian? Yeah, no, they were they were they were made they were made by Seidel for the Australian market. Yeah. So. Mm. I think that would be yeah. interesting to play. Oh, oh, I do too. I like the shape of it. I like that. They even, they even come in tinies. Oh. Oh. Little lady boomerang? No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they are. Yeah, but they call but them they, boomerangs, but uh, only but, the big ones are in the shape of a boomerang. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I even got a sign. This this would be a sign that would have been in, in a window or, or, or something, you know, in a... In a uh, Harmonica store, mm -hmm. music store, you know, music instrument store. Mm -hmm. Boomerang mouth organ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is a modern version of it. They made this back in the, uh, in the early 90s. So they sent it out to, you know, as a yeah, repo I reproduction. Would keep them, I would keep the mold for that. Yeah. Um, Harlan, what company started the name Harmonica? How did it go from French harp to harmonica? Or mouth organ. How I don't think anybody get... knows for sure. Mm -hmm. um, but isn't it a, isn't it a, like a, a, a famous name like uh, Jello is for gelatin? Well, you know the the uh, the Germans call the accordion a harmonica, and so I think that's how it started. They oh, they call okay. the, the, this is a harmonica. Okay, it's not an accordion. Okay. We call it an accordion. They call it a harmonica with a K. <laughs> so when they started making mouth organs, it was a Mund harmonica. And got that's, it, got it, got it. that's how it started. Yeah. Mm. And that's okay. as close as anyone can, can yeah. come to it. Yeah. <clears throat> this is really quite an education. Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah, yeah, he's cute, isn't he? <laughs> now, give me a date on when. Uh, oh, 1950s. <coughs> yeah, long before I started collecting the yeah, figure. Yeah. They still make those, but yeah, nothing. Quite yeah, like that. Uh, uh, you know, this would be in a window. These are all um, empty boxes, but I have some that have all harmonicas in it, too. Mm -hmm. And these are interesting because they've got reeds in them. So, so I don't know how to play them. There are people that do, but I'm not one of them. <laughs> well, this is another one by... by I think this was made by Joe and Fondi too. Oh yeah. Look at this. This is an interesting harmonica. This is made by Fondi too, and it, he's got two harmonicas in there with a slide. All all low notes. Are pretty low. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a real collector because he Joe made that. Hmm. Reminds me of that guy that makes. Fountain pen nibs and puts like three and four together. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can very well, customized. Another Jimmy Carter. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I was wondering about that. Okay. The peanut, and now I get the smile. And then these were, 
this and it's sitting up there. These were made, the, the, the harmonicas that were, they would have the harmonicas sitting on, on here as a, as a window display or a case display in a, in a music store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The the loving cup is that related to harmonics? Yeah, that that yep, that's a, that's that was the they called it the second award, uh, girl harmonica um, contest, nineteen twenty nine, and um, Elsie Epstein won it, and in Philadelphia. Oh my gosh, uh, I'd like a really good picture of that. Oh, if, we, well, if you wouldn't mind. Well, if you can take one with all the glare. Yeah, yes. I'm wondering yes. how we could do that. Well, let's hold it just. Uh, you could. I'm trying to. Yeah, it's going to be it. hard to get a good picture. Well, I'm trying to. It oh, that, whoops, you had it right so there. So I'm trying to get. I wonder if it'd be even. If no, you, it was if better. You get the, if you get the right even. Okay. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think that was think the best. Place. Right here was good. Um, let me see if I can. And you're familiar with that, I'm sure. I'm gonna fix this box. Keep seeing them. Get over this one a little bit. I was wondering if you take it. Okay, let me take it there. And then you can stitch it together. Yeah, turn but it. But I want everything. Okay, turn a little bit more. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. No, not done yet. There. Did you get it? Yep. As much as we can with the glare. But I've got some other stuff like that, too, at Wars. Well. Thank you. Lone Ranger. Uh, a lot of stuff down here. But oh, Lone Ranger? Lone Ranger. Oh, yeah. I didn't you got a Lone Ranger? For sure. Yeah. On the campfire, I'm sure. Yeah. Wow. I don't, I don't believe it. This one, this one's in, in I have it came all in pieces, so I can't figure out. I'm going to have to go to Pat Messon, he's the master of this, and find out where all of these tubes go. But it, there are reeds inside here, and it doesn't, it doesn't play right now because it's not connected, but it's called a, a uh, sheng. Who made that one? This made in Cambodia. Yeah. They still make them more modern. Uh, oh. I have one. It's called a sheng? Sheng. How do you spell it? S H E N G, I believe. Huh. Huh. And then some very nice harmonicas with trumpets on them and all that. This this is an unusual one because there's the chromonica two, you know. This is a chromonica three. It's a 16 hole mm. chromatic. It's only there's only two of these that I know of. One here and one in the uh, mm. in the um, in the museum in Germany. Why are there only two? They didn't make very many of them. Uh, they, they just weren't weren't popular. And uh, you know, then there's a lot of nice stuff in here. For instance, oh, that's Matthias Honer on that side, oh. and Count Zeppelin on that side. So if you want to. Well, that's a Count Zeppelin, huh? Yep. I've been to the museum. They have one little harmonica. They don't have this at all in, in the Zeppelin Museum mm -hmm. in Germany. Hmm. And then there's Matthias Honer on the other side. It has the shape of the Zeppelin. Yeah. Hmm. It's a very, very... Oh, beautiful. beautiful. But I have a number of them. This one is the same thing, but you can see what happens when the silver wears off. Right. Oh, the mm -hmm. silver's mm -hmm. worn off. You don't think one. it's yeah. just tarnished? And no, no, the silver's worn, worn off. off. Yeah. It's worn, mm. it's worn off. Yeah. Surface. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm this is, saying this is very rare, too. Much. Uh, mm. Not many people have one of these, but it's a, in the form of an automobile. It's called the auto harp. <laughs> the auto harp. Oh, my gosh, what a great oh name. My Isn't gosh. it? Auto harp. Yeah. Somebody how really fitting, is. How fitting. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, that, is, that is good. The auto harp. Is that a honer also? Yes. This is all honer. Good old oh, honer. Amazing. Harp. I'll show you some more unusual honer stuff. Because this, this is a really classy drawing. So you have some things honer doesn't have in their museum? Some of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is it called a tuck away. Oh, the tuck away. And, Look and, at that. And they quit making it, they said, because beards became. Oh. 
uh, uh -huh. very popular, and the men were catching their. Yeah, it would catch my beard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, isn't that cute though? And they made it in different style. The Sonora is the same thing. It's just made for a different market, you know. Yeah. Did you have to hold it open then? Or no, no, it, it, it would it actually, lock. Yeah, it would lock. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, this is a. This is a very nice tremolo. This with a you can tell what era that is by the plane that's on it, right? Yeah. Look at that. That's yeah, beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And here's one here that everything is worn off of it. You know, it's just, it just got back to its uh, original yeah. shape, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, this is an interesting one because it's so plain that nobody wants it, but it's a pretty, it, it, it had a problem, and a lot of them did. Don't, don't do it. But this thing you could cut your fingers on. This is sharp. It's mm -hmm. crazy. Mm. Yeah, this is made about, and. Design flaw yeah, sure. There's a whole. There are seven different uh, trumpet calls, uh, mo different models of, of mm. trumpet calls. Oh, uh, what else in here is pretty interesting? Oh, that's another dust proof like this. They call them dust proofs. A harmonica transfuser. You can call that one. They cut your fingers. <laughs> Get a transfusion with a harmonica. Maybe it should only play sharps. Oh, here's, here's, here's one here. This is this is a miniature one of that. You know, you can mm -hmm, see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can see that the uh, that the aircraft is in there. So. Gosh. Amazing. Yeah. I wonder if uh, they air, the pilots took them up there when they were flying. Yeah, like, I don't know. Lind <coughs> maybe Lindbergh had one, you know. These are interesting. They... These are these are Art Deco, and the guy that did this, I just I just lost his name. Uh, he was a famous uh, um, Art Deco guy, and he made this in in the shape of a of a airfoil for you know like a plane. Is it Erte? Huh? Er Erte, the Art Deco. N no, no. An Italian think, name. I'll think of it. Italian name. Okay, I don't know. They got an Art Deco museum in Tulsa. Yeah. yeah that's right. I have, I'd like to go there. Well, we're going, so these, we're, we're going, we'll send you a card. Okay. I'll bring you a card. Well, my, my daughter lives outside of Tulsa. Oh, well, you'll get there. So, yeah. And then these are... Uh, oh, oh, wow. You can have one for every outfit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And I have a whole bunch of Echo Lux. Uh, they, 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 came in, they came in different different names. They came, well, some of these are mint. They came as as Echo Lux. Mm -hmm. You can see that. And then I they came. Then they came as as young youth, no youngin. Mm. Oh. And the problem with it is that a lot of this wore off after a time of playing. So having mm -hmm. one in mint condition like oh, these. Oh yeah, are, is it, are they enameled? I guess. It, it's kind of an enamel paint. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're they're just beautiful. I wish they would reissue some of those vintage designs. Well, they could, but uh, they would. I know they wouldn't. Harmonicas don't sell, so that yeah, wouldn't be yeah. a wouldn't be a blockbuster. Yeah. I don't know what this one looks like. Oh, that's kind of great. Ooh. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. And this one is a kind of a favorite of mine because it's a it's an endearing term, like uh, oh sweetie pie or something. It's called a poopshin. <laughs> I wondered what the word meant. Yeah, it's poopshin. So my my kleine poopshin, my little my little. Do you know what it means? Uh, I do. I'll have to think about it for a moment. I go. I speak some German, but it's it, it's not not complete. Christian Weiss. <clears throat> he made a lot of nice harmonicas, and owner bought him up. But uh, lot of, in this case, most of the harmonicas, I think uh, that boxes are, 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 are the boxes are <laughs> probably prettier than. The, although this is, you know, this is pretty pretty nice harmonica, mm -hmm. the orgel clanger. Mm -hmm. So that's the organ sound, clang clanger is clang, you know. So it's the orgel is is is. Uh, organ and so it's the organ sound or the bell sound different different translations on it these are american made these are all american made this is pretty interesting made like a little railroad car 
and these are individual channels that, that where the reeds are in. You see that? Mm. Yeah, pretty popular harmonica for a while. Called the American, all American. Mm -hmm. These are all American-made harmonicas. From the uh, some from the twenties, and uh, they were making harmonicas. But the the Germans just oh, that's the same thing. This different model. The uh, after well, during the First World War, the Americans started making a few harmonicas. I have a couple but not many. And then when the Second World War came along, nobody could get a German harmonica, so all the Americans started making harmonicas. As soon as the war was over, it was they were dead. They yeah. were gone. Yeah. Hmm. These are S. Bach. That's an old German name. So, and some of them are ornate, you know, and kind of pretty. But these are all S. Bachs. Let's see if I got something that stands out here. Weiss made some nice stuff. The silver soloist, that's kind of nice. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they made a lot of different things. They did a lot of stuff. Uh, oh, North Pole. Well, there's one for the North Pole. They did a lot of, uh, of things about famous uh, uh, adventurers and explorers and things like that. They seem to have a, a market for that. There's Koch. And they made, they had a few that are very nice and it, I just can't remember which ones to open for you. And, you know, something like this. Mm -hmm. Kind of pretty. You know, a lot of scroll work. And mm -hmm. Tremolos are huge, you know, for, oh, the Silver Orchestra is pretty nice. I forgot about that. The, uh, oh no, that's not it. That one's in pretty rough shape. Mm -hmm. So they went out of their way to, you know, to make something that was different and, you know, looked different and sounded different and mm -hmm. played different, mm -hmm. but, you know, they. Mm -hmm. No, every every harmonica looks the same, you know. Yeah. These guys made a lot of stuff for airplanes, hots. They got a whole series of them from, uh, well, you can see World War One, World War Two, the fifties. So they made a lot of uh, a lot of harmonicas that uh, had American themes to them. Mm -hmm. Does it matter if the harmonica, like if the reeds are broken, it wouldn't, I mean, it, it would be better if they weren't, but I assume that if you wanted, if, even if a reed were broken, you would get it. Yeah, I, it, yeah, a lot of these harmonicas uh, play, but a lot of them don't. <clears throat> and the problem is that you can't replace the reeds because the reeds are different. Yeah. See, the, the, the older reeds are actually thicker mm -hmm. than some of the things. And yeah. I know, I know uh, Joe Felisco, who makes his own line of harmonicas. He likes, he gets the old marine bands, you know, from uh, from the 30s and and then does his own cover plates and cleans them up because he likes the sound sure. of the uh, yeah. of the old reeds. Can you cannibalize them? Like if you yeah, had sure. like, you know, yeah, you could, but one I, and make a complete one? Here's the problem. Once you take something apart, it's apart. There's, they're, they're, they're not, they're not, they're not, the old harmonicas just don't fit uh, cannibalizing very well because yeah so mm. once you start taking things apart it's you're in maybe, trouble maybe you, never goes back. it might never go back yeah. or you might break it or something so yeah. from a collector standpoint it is what it is that's how I look at it too yeah. I, yeah, I don't mess with those things no. of course you'd have to have some no. expertise but and I have a couple of these and there's a this is kind of a nice I, I, oh, these, nice. Are, these are not the correct harmonicas the box over there is but it's a Songbird and it's different keys and it would be in a in a um, you know in a, in a show in a, a showroom in a what room or something. Mm -hmm. So that that's pretty much it. And then more of these. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got some. I am I, honestly I I am just forward. I've got one in here I made. I can show you that one. What, is this a a pool toy? No, it's it, uh, in is fact. Is it a display? Yeah, in fact, it's signed by uh, 
By Lee Oscar. I, I, I yeah, see Lee that. Lee signed yeah. it for me. Yeah. yeah, I have a Honer one, too. I made this. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like a flashlight. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of my, uh, one of my projects. <laughs> so, you know. Well, that was one of a kind. One of a kind. Yeah. You know, and, it, you know, the, the, these, of course, is the way they were made back then. But that's mine, you know. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. And I got a lot of these. Now, how did you get the case for it? Uh, I just... Found an old flashlight in uh, in an old antique sh oh. shop and just bought it and I oh and, it, and, it, yeah. and the idea popped oh. in my mind. Popped in there. Well, I can this see. I gotta find. There's a little thing that goes on here, but I have a picture in the other room of Borovinovich and his harmonica rascals. You know who they were? Yes. Okay. Yes. The black guy in Borovinovich and his harmonica played this. And there's that, only that exactly. Well, it's the only one I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen smaller ones, and I've seen this, but you know. So he would he would Ooh, play. Yeah. He yeah. would play that. Wow. And this this is pretty unique too. In fact, there's only this is the only one in existence as far as I know. This is a salesman set. This is a salesman set, and what it is is made by Dorfel. Which was an old thing, and these are big light uh, covers. These are all big light covers. You can slide a harmonica out, and uh, and these are very very temperamental, and I'm they, sure, they can be. I'm sure. I'm sure. And uh, so th th this is another maker, T. Meinhold. He was. Here's a Seidel, and and then these are these are Dorfels. So. Uh, a salesman would have taken it came like this I, well I added a couple of these up here uh, because it wasn't complete but it's the same it was the same uh, Bertano's Delight and uh, Bertano's an, an, uh, from an opera Bertano and so that was mm -hmm. I, I did a lot of research and that's a salesman's kit so he would take them in all the keys and different things and to show uh, show a music store you know Just Yeah, this is the only one of these that's in existence, yeah, yeah. as far as I know. Yeah. Then I had a call from a lady, and she said, my father, let me put this over here, right away. my father was in World War II, he was a major in World War II, and he was a harmonica player, and um, after, after World War II, they split up uh, the various areas, the Americans had this area, the French had this area, and all that. And unfortunately, the the picture that was on here and the picture inside uh, did not survive. But these are all mint. This was given to this to this uh, to this colonel, and I have the documentation on it by Honer himself. And uh, at, at the end of the war, uh, to this guy who visited uh, who visited the Honer facility, and all. And well, see, they're not. They're, they're not even out of the wrapper. So this was in after, right after the war, you know, so this was somewhere in that neighborhood. So that's, wow. that's pretty special. Wow. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah, that's pretty special. Well, I knew you had a lot, but you, had, um, you just have to see Yeah, it. and then these are just a lot of different manufacturers, and, you know, it just goes on and on and on forever. Uh, Oh, yeah, I love the minis. Yeah, I got a lot of them. This is an interesting one. Yeah, thank you. Carl, little Carl Harlan gave us a, a little party favor here. Oh, the mini. Oh, yeah. This was interesting. I, I bought a bunch of these and I've given some of these away. They're, they're, you know, it's re relatively new. I mean, it's, it doesn't say who made them or what it is or anything. It just says harmonica. And it's interesting because look at the way, look at the, way the notes are broken up. See it? Hmm. 
I've never seen that. I wonder what so that's about. I think it's Japanese, and I haven't I haven't opened the package yet. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. When something comes complete, it stays complete. It's really yeah. Normal. I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't I, try to modify or jam. Yeah, yeah, there'd be no reason like to. Hmm. But I have, I have, a, I have a lot of minis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just drawers after drawers after drawers. Sometimes it gets boring. Oh, well. But, you know. I, I would think you could always be refreshed, though, no matter when you took a swing through. Yeah. You see yeah. Something you'd I like your little harmonica player. Yeah, I bought here. all those from that same guy. Yeah. Well, he passed oh. away. We got him at the. At the when he, I see. Yeah, he made he, he he made a lot of these. Yeah. And he oh. modified a lot of them. Yeah. And uh, this one's pretty interesting. Uh, I've got one that works. Um, oh, it's like the Blues Brothers. That's what it is. Did the Blues? Did they play the harmonica? In the oh movie? yeah. He's a good harmonica player. Well, I haven't watched that in a while. Oh, that is too good. <laughs> oh, I have I have another one that works. This one that oh. I guess he needs oh. hip surgery. Well, but it sounds, it sounds good. Yeah. 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 Now, what what does the car have to do with harmonicas? Nothing. It's got whiskey it in it. <laughs> <laughs> I collected okay. those. I, I have a whole bunch of cars that that, that never been touched. There's still it, the the booze is still in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. I just just had. And to then, go. Uh, well, this is one of those much, much earlier, but I don't have the top on it. So they have oh. one at uh, at, uh, at Honer. Does it have the same spring? No, it's a wind-up. So over here is a handle, see. Okay, but then it has this, it, yeah. like a, yeah. yeah, winds down. These are just empty oh. boxes here. I'm doing, I'm doing posters of empty boxes. I'll show you something later on about oh. that. Oh, okay. And then they, these I use for my, uh, when I go out and do, you know, when I go to the spa and mm -hmm. stuff, there's mm -hmm. just a, there's just a lot of nice harmonicas in here. Well, this, this one's very, 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 very 